Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today, we're gonna be cleaning Courtney's engine bay. This is something that I told you guys we were gonna do about a week ago. And uh, it's quite nasty. Look at look how nasty this is. Like, I don't know if we've ever actually cleaned under here, but this is just gross. So today we're going to hop into cleaning the engine bay, but first there's gonna be a couple things you're gonna need. So the first thing you're gonna need is some dish soap. Um, I just pre-mix a little bit of dish soap and water in here, but don't ever use dish soap to wash your car because it's not the greatest for the paint, it strips it. Um, but it's good to do under here because you need degreaser and dish soap is a very good degreaser. So it's very aggressive underneath the hood, which is where you need it to be aggressive. You're gonna need yourself a garbage bag. I use gloves to keep my thingies clean. A couple paint brushes or like bristles or like anything that you have for cleaning tools. I'm just using paint brushes because I'm just a regular person that doesn't have a plethora of cleaning supplies. So you guys can just do the same thing. Just make sure they're like cheap kind of garbagey ones that are a little bit rougher and agitate stuff. What else do I need for in there? Make sure you have a, a decent amount of rags and some, I, you can use whatever you want. I'm using smart dressing. It's just like plastic cleaner wax stuff for when we're all done to make it look nice. And then they just need a hose. You guys got a hose? So something that happens a lot is people work in like a small shop or whatever and their boss doesn't know much about cleaning cars but tells them it's fine to pressure wash the engine and I know because I was there and I did that and people always were like no it's fine just pressure wash it pressure wash it but it's it's not and you shouldn't so if you have a garbage bag or something just put the garbage bag over it it doesn't have to be like super watertight it, the engine gets wet yes your car drives in the rain and stuff but it's not good to like high pressure water at some of the places like spark plugs and stuff in your engine so do your best to cover it and uh, if you ever work at a place where someone tells you it's great to fresh wash the engine just don't do that because it's not great you're gonna get a lot of haters just being like i pressure wash my car and it's totally fine yeah but they're gonna be the ones that blow their cars up so sucks to be them just try and put the bag over the main parts of your engine and anything that's just kind of like electrical and you don't want it to get soaked um like i said it doesn't have to be perfect but just it's a good starting point and then i'm just gonna start with the hood and come down and if you're washing your whole car, make sure you do this first because you're gonna blow stuff all over the place. And if you've already washed the outside of your car and then you decide to wash the engine bay, you're screwed. You're gonna have to go back and wash the outside of your car again. For me? Oh, oh geez, I almost soaked myself. So step one, I like to just wash everything because there's always chunks of crap in here. So just take it and wash everything that's not covered by the bag. So I just start up here and blast everything off to get all the big chunks and then we go back and clean everything else. So once you get everything nice and soaked, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Some people like to go through and like do multi-stage. I don't really find that necessary. What I do is just take the dish soap. Let me get it. Not even prepared. Not prepared. Take your dish soap and just spray everything because what you'll see like all this black stuff is just grease and yuckies. So just take your dish soap, spray it all down and then uh, just basically wash it like it's your car. Oh, my pants are getting wet. So I just take a wet microfiber and just wash under here. Um, you could use like a washing cloth if that's what you want, but I have a washcloth for wheels and a washcloth for cars. I don't have one that's for like getting dirty and grungy like this. So just use a microfiber and wet it before you go at this. Otherwise you're just gonna be smearing things. So once you have your stuff sprayed on there, just come across and like the, the dish soap does an unreal job of collecting grease. Like you could use regular car soap, but it will not do the same. And you're basically just gonna wanna wipe the entire hood. Ew, look at that. That's a lot of this is undercoating and stuff, but like that's nasty. But it's good though, it means it's taking it all off. I don't think no anybody's ever washed underneath the hood of your car. This is gungy. This is a potential six years of grunge. Oh, it is not a potential, it is a guaranteed six years of grunge. Once you've wiped everything down, just go ahead and spray it and check for anything that you might have missed. So lots of times you'll you'll think you're done and then you spray it and you realize there's a big clump that you... Shut up, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> uh. Anyways, you'll miss spots. So go under, spray it all down and then go back. But look how, look how nice this is already. We already look 100 times better just under there. Oh, thank God, fly away, you stupid bird. And a huge part of this is using dish soap. You guys can use the greaser, you can use whatever you have, whatever you want, but I'm telling you, dish soap is like the secret key to doing this. And then after you've gave everything a nice rinse down, you're gonna wanna just start spraying everything that's not, again, covered by the bag. So, and then there's a couple ways to go about it. I basically spray everything with the dish soap under here, because again, the, the, the greaser is key underneath the hood. 
And then, so I spray everything with dish soap and then I'm gonna go around and use like a brush of anything that's like stuck in there. And then whatever the brush doesn't get, I'll come back around again with the rag to get stuff like this, which is left from the undercoating, which if you guys get your car undercoated, you probably don't wanna be wiping it off, but we've changed where we live to a place where we don't need to really have this anymore. So that's why we're doing it. But just cause you see it on the internet doesn't always make it a good idea. Another nice thing about using dish soap as opposed to something else is that dish soap foams really well so you know exactly where you've been. So you, can, you don't get lost when you're doing this. You don't get like lost a track of where you were and keep doing the same place over and over. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look how clean it is. Oh my God, it's so clean. And this is what I'm talking about. So I already went around with the brush and got everything. And then it's little things like this that's too much for the brush to get off. So I'm just gonna go back, spray it again with some dish soap, spray my rag and then just give that a nice rub off. Comes off easy with the rag, but it's just too aggressive for the brush. But you don't wanna waste your time in the beginning doing everything with the rag, when you could just save it and go over it quickly and just come back for the harder stuff. At least that's my theory. And look how beautiful this turned out. So this is now after we've gone through the whole thing with paintbrush, and then I went through again with the rag to get everything off. It's not perfect, but the goal was not to be perfect, it was to be clean, because under here was just nasty. So the whole hood, Beautiful. Everything down here is nice and shiny and white again for once, which I have not seen it white in forever. And so now what we're gonna wanna do is just clean this disgusting mess. So basically under here, I'm gonna do, shh, I'm trying to make a video. Basically under here, what we're gonna do is the same thing. I'm just gonna spray dish soap, agitate it, get everything clean, but instead of coming back through with the hose, I'm just gonna spray it all and then just wipe it down with the rag immediately afterwards instead of wetting everything because there's some stuff in here that you don't necessarily wanna spray water at. I know Courtney's car is actually pretty easy to do and you probably could spray it with water because there's big chunks of plastic and stuff under here, but I still don't recommend it just because the one time you do is gonna be the one time that you screw up and miss and break something. So we're not gonna use water. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, do the same steps except no water. So I've said that four times, now let's actually do it. Do you, want to, do you want to talk about that? No. If you guys, if you drive a Mini Cooper, I know that it's fast because it's small and just don't sit on a street full of kids revving it because then you're no longer cool. You're just the douche of the block. And nobody wants to be the douche of the block. Unless you do. In that case, go buy a Mini Cooper and rev it on a street full of kids just trying to play basketball. There, so I'm just gonna do, like I said, same thing now that it's all soapy, agitated, everything's been stirred up, except now I'm gonna come through with a cleaner side of my rag. Oh, damn. Okay, so now this is with what I just showed you. I went through and used soap and everything, but now what we're gonna do is use the dressing. So we're gonna go and just shine everything and make it look perfect. Okay, so now what I use is smart dressing. This is meant for plastics and uh, it's perfect for what we're doing. A lot of people use engine oil and WD-40, which is fine, but it's gonna collect junk. So you can go ahead and put WD-40 or put engine oil, rub it in. Yeah, it's gonna give you a great shine, but it's gonna collect a lot of dust. So, because it's thick and it layers on like gooey, right? So you use something like this and it just kind of absorbs into the plastic and that's what you, that's what it's meant for and whatever. I'm using my clean brush that did not get disgustingly dirty from getting all the turd off. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I was doing with the soap. I'm just kind of gonna put some dressing on and then I'm just gonna use the brush to just kind of get it in all the cracks and everything. And then go around with a clean microfiber this time, a new one and rub it all in and make it all look good. So now you don't have to use a brush for this part. I just like to use a brush because for instance, in like all the cracks and stuff by this Mazda, if I go like this with the brush, it looks like when you're done, it has a more flawless finish. There's no spots where you didn't clearly get. Whereas if you just use a rag to kind of rub it in, you can do it quicker, yeah, and it'll probably still look pretty good, but there will be obvious spots that you missed. So for example, we'll do this and then get rid of it quickly because it's really sunny. That's nice. Shine. Look at that, that is perfection. And so like, if I just were to rub it in with this rag, it would still work, but like, look how perfect that looks in there. And that's the finish you're going for. So what we're gonna do now is just do the exact same thing, dress everything up, get in all the little grooves, all the little nooks, and uh, probably dust off the rest of this dressing bottle. Yeah, if you don't have a brush, like you just can't get the same finish as if you do, because this gets in everything. It's all dry now, but that's why you have to do it first. Do you see all those little dry drips? Probably not, because it's super sunny and the car's white, but that's why you have to wash your car in here before out there. Boom, there's a finished product. Look at that. 
We didn't go super crazy with the, the dressing because it's just Courtney's car. Okay. Everything looks perfect. And her car has a lot of plastics. Mazdas have a lot of plasticky covers and stuff, which is fine because they look way better when they're all done. So like her car doesn't take very much, right? Didn't dress up any of this stuff. Dress up like lids, covers, air box. And, and I never showed you guys, but even back in behind here, I kind of reached in and just wipe down all the hoses, give everything a little bit more of a clean feel. And then the more obvious hoses, I just dropped some uh, wax on, or not wax, the dressing. I dropped the dressing on and just kind of rubbed it in with a cloth on all the top hoses just to make everything look a little bit more finished. And when you open the hood, the car looks like a million dollars. Hood, spotless. Engine, spotless. So yeah, that is it. That is how you wash the engine bay of your car. It's very, very simple and it makes a world of difference. Like this makes your entire car come to life when it is clean. If you pop the hood and everything just shines at you and looks brand new, there's nothing better than having a clean in and outside of your car. So that is all this video is going to entail for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you go outside right now and you have a beautiful sunny day like we have. And you can go outside, wash your engine bay, wash the rest of your car, and make everything look mint, makes you feel good, makes everything better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, and stay committed.